When you're blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. Creepy Cassie! Never gonna find <laughs> Cassie can't see! You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of the fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. It's a coffee mug. Right, excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. And most importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. Listen, I need to do this. You stay in the cafe for a few hours. I'll be there soon. <sighs> I'm at the door. Wait, don't hang up. Hello? I know nobody's there, but I'm um, just doing my due diligence. Hello? Probably should have worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. <gasps> Deep breaths, Cassie. You're here for a reason. In my dreams, I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there? Dearest Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our tenth year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. What was that? A memory? Now, Cassie, that music box belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. But I need the music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> but I love this song. Okay, 
Okay. Fine. I'll leave it for the next girl. Ah. <sighs> Wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. What brought that back? Patient, Briar, Felicia. 20 milligrams fluxodine, tabs. Instructions, take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. New text message from, Serge. Hey, about to board, what's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. Now this, how does Malachite crack? It's supposed to protect me and the baby. How does a gem inside a silver setting just, just shatter like that? I know how to raise my baby. Give me the goddamn key to the playroom. Where is it? I don't need the pills anymore, and I don't need you watching my every move. <laughs> Can't you tell? I haven't taken them in days. <gasps> Q, 
keeping these, because at some point... Oh, we're gonna need to talk about this. I don't understand. Is it Richard doing this? Or the house? I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how. I've taken none of his prescriptions. I still see it. I still see it. I still see it. Betty, why am I still seeing it? Hello? Where are you? Hey, Serge. What's up? Where are you? Okay. I'm in a weird... I don't know. I guess it was a nursery. There's bubble wrap everywhere. Wait a sec. Shouldn't you be at 30,000 feet right now? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Hello? Cold. Cold. So cold. Whoever you are. I'm not afraid of you. You hear me? You can't. Fear me. you back. Oh, man. I suddenly don't feel so good. Patient showing signs of progress. She is accepting the switch to bottle feeding and is no longer... Wait a moment. What's that? I, uh, must be hearing things. I, I need more sleep. Hello? What's that? Who's, th who's there? Is something... something burning? Felicia! No, 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 this... this is how it ends! Fucking house! It made Felicia burn her family alive! Why is it tormenting these poor people? I, I thought I was supposed to fix it. To stop it. What, what, what am I even doing here? I don't understand! I shouldn't... I shouldn't be here. This is all wrong. I gotta get out now. Not without the pills. 
I'm ready to join you now. There's no one left for me. Give me a sign you're still here. A knock. Those footsteps, your phonograph. Anything. I need to move on, but I'm afraid. Please show yourself. Your sister in suffering. Felicia. I need to head back there, Stat. None of this was your fault. Why are you doing this? What the hell is the point of any of this? <sighs> Down in the marketplace, I spied a spry old man handing her this locket. It was inscribed. Thy healing fingers hath my eternal gratitude. Imagine my shock when he turned and I saw it was Erwin, the town cripple, and there was no cane in sight. Who was that? And who was she talking about? But no, that's not possible. Hello? Cass, you need me on this, please. Here we go again. Need. Needing someone isn't a weakness, Cassie. Not for you, maybe. Needing is primal. Once you need something, you're not in control. You're desperate. And I desperately need you to be safe right now. And I'm not ashamed of it. I'll... Damn it! What the hell? Sorry, babe. Signal sucks. We'll pick this up later. Message sent. You chivalrous man, you. Don't you dare spend your last nickel on another throw. Save your strength for writing poetry, Shakespeare. Now hand me the baseball. I'm winning you that, Teddy. Jean? Jean, rise and shine, soldier. Your Betty Bird's made your favorite sausage and biscuits. Wait. I smell... Is that breakfast? God, what happened to him? Jean. <laughs> You've barely touched your plate, my love. Go on, have some more. Your body needs the vitality for action. Can she see him? Now, sweetheart, don't you fret. I'll find that gun lickety split. No soldier worth his salt ought to carry those shoddy government issued pistols. Plastic handles? Shh. Give me check and walnut any day. Okay. I got this. Last time I just had to figure out what happened to Felicia. This time I need to find that gun. Easy. I simply must find Gotta find that the source gun. of that. A 
gonna need to get up in that attic. Guess I'll have to find something to pull that door down. Oh, I'm certainly trying to keep busy, dear. You should see how tidy my stitching has become. But I need more. I'm not the putter around type, you know. Come, let me show you what I've been studying. Wait. Where am I? Modupas. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. English. Anglais. Real smooth, Cass. Maybe Delphi can help. Moot a pas Password. <sighs> Time to get Sherlocky, Cass. Oh, for heaven's sake, where is that gun? Locked. Of course. Connecting to a live community user. Hey there, Cassie. Nice to meet you. I'm Nick. Just started using this app. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, happy to help. Just waiting for the image to come through. Okay, there it is. Looks like a lockbox. Oh yeah, there's a little latch on the side there. Kind of hard to notice. Once you flip that, it should open. I'll be in your contacts now, so hit me back whenever. Okay. Your dear old friend can help a gal out. Come on, Corporal Roger Del Rey, I'm counting on you. <clears throat> dear Mrs. Jean Martin, my dear, I remember your father well and am forever in debt to his many sacrifices in the name of freedom. He was a frank man, so you'll forgive me for being frank when I say that he'd roll over in his grave if he knew I put his sweet girl in the line of duty. What? Father would be proud of me. Back to the drawing board. Go get him, Betty. Belong over there. I do. When I find that gun, I am going over there. And there will be hell to pay! Felicia was paranoid about her baby. Is the house making Betty paranoid about what's happening to Jean overseas? Delphi. Text to speech. Chantal. Maybe this would work at the door.
Chantal. the stress is a war puts on a man, Jean, so don't get all bent out of shape. Take whatever comfort you need. I'm sorry I haven't found the gun yet, but I'll get it to you no matter what. I'm coming. Just you wait. Mother Stowaway is such a harsh word. I know, Father always said if the, I know, Father always said that the cargo holds are never policed. I... Yes. All right, I promise. No, you do not need to come here. No, you do not need to come here. It's just... Ever since I found Father's gun, I... speech. to run the switchboards. How about this? Be a doll and take a few photos. There's a morale boost to beat the band. At night when I kneel to say my prayers, I rest my elbows on the hope chest you gave me on my 18th birthday. We're going to make a family someday, you and me, you'd said. Inside that chest are our dreams, Jean. And keeping them safe on our end. So you do your duty over there and we'll be right as rain soon enough. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. Hold on just a little longer, Jean. I know this isn't real, but the pain sure is. I keep hearing a German man's whisper in the wind. After months of trying to decipher something, anything, I heard the word Bosch. Little elbow grease at the library turned up a German dictionary. Bosch means forest. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean.
Practice, practice, practice. You don't need fancy tools to disassemble your gun. Use the cartridge here as a screwdriver. Yes, Jean, just like I showed you. Now let's get a stopwatch and have some fun. has finally turned around. I received a phone call from the Silver Star Line and it turns out I won a trip to Europe. <laughs> I'll be boarding the flagship Silver Star next week and will soon be crossing the ocean to come find you. Hang tight. I will be on my way in no time. Faithfully, Betty. Morse code. I know this. Hang on a sec. Betty. I am... coming home. Jen is coming? On my way home. Honorable discharge. Love you. Shit, she can't get on that boat. He's coming back. That must be why she hasn't heard from him. I better find my way to that foghorn stack. No, no, oh, Betty. Betty, you, you can't, he's on his way. Why? Why did this fucking house do this to her? Wait, the ticket from my dream. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he sees me. I solved it. Many of the sailors in town bought her herb sachets. I laughed at the notion of a man wanting to smell sweet, but then I was told they were for protection. Old Tully would sworn that it was one of her sachets that kept his ship afloat in a wretched squall. He clutched it to his chest like a cross.
connecting to a live community user. Are you at some sort of amusement park or escape room or something? This shit's unreal. Wow, paper's just everywhere. A few old-timey photographs of girls. One of them has a shaved head. Some of the pics are from far away, others are close up like mug shots. Poor things, they don't look well. Ah, wow, there's a schedule here for a few different people. Regimented, and date plans in a minute. Being watched by someone. I'll be here all day. I don't like the taste of that. Don't make me drink it. For your own safety, go back upstairs. Mm, not the best idea to threaten the police, Mr. Bosch. I am a man bold only in 
thought, not in action. Lord, please give me the courage to do what I must. What have we here? Looks like old-fashioned blueprints. Huh. Yeah, it says Danver State Lunatic Asylum, but it's drawn all over. Date and time, scribbles over specific rooms. I think... Well, I think someone's planning on fleeing the cuckoo's nest. Now then, tough crowd. <laughs> Everything. No need. Listen, I board in another 15. Stay safe. Or leave. We can finish this thing together. I can't. You can't? Or you won't? No, I mean I physically can't. The house won't let me. That's alarming. I'll be there as soon as I can. He doesn't need you. You've pushed him away. Excuse me? She doesn't even know yet. Connecting to a live community user. Hi again. Let's see, pictures coming through now. Oh, God. Uh, oh, okay, the, the app tutorial video doesn't exactly prep you for this sort of thing, but uh, I need you to keep calm. If you need me to call the police or even an ambulance, just let me know ASAP and I will get you help. In the meantime, there's something blocking the train by your feet. Reach down and remove it, and you should be able to get out. Then get out. I said it. I tried to warn you. Please try to hold get that still. Fucking thing away from me. I, I can stop the bleeding if you. No. 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 No.
Or you could always tinker with our dolls and who they stay with. Enjoy it for me. An apple. I was just you know to do we don't kind of eat these. Orders. These are toxic. No eat. <laughs> Wait. Bite marks. Who ate this? What? What have you done? them out from that wretched place. I thought I was saving them. I thought nothing could be worse than to be tortured and treated like animals. Now, looking back, I wonder if I brought them a worse fate. My angels, truly angels now, would they have been better off if I left them in state care? It is not what happens to me, but as I wait for these monsters to claim me, I ponder my role in this travesty. Which door to the afterlife will admit me? <laughs> and only made them worse. They are coming. And I do not think I will fight them when they arrive. My husband is a righteous man. But I am afraid his love of God may perhaps lead to the destruction of an innocent. I watched as a crowd of children mobbed her. They squealed as she made the small wooden doll jump and dance, working the strings faster than their eyes could see. It was as though she breathed life into the thing. He was speaking about Susanna again, talking of fire. Then he spoke of how fine her land appears. July 19, 1692. To Thomas Durham, you are hereby permitted forthwith to apprehend and bring Susanna Morton in order to her examination relating to high suspicion of sundry acts of witchcraft. The court seeks justice for acts committed by her upon the bodies of Mary Talcott and Mercy Lewis Dean of Salem Village whereby great hurt and damage hath been done. Should you succeed, her lands and estates shall be bequeathed unto your family forthwith. Superior Court of Essex County. Blood of Durham. Is this the original house? I cast you out! We 
shall not starve. We husband, the animals, they take an ill. Maybe fire would help open the door. Now for some matches. Okay. Where can I find matches? This place is damned. And I fear it is of my doing. My husband claims she is a weaker vessel, which is why her ears are attuned to the sound of the devil's forked tongue. I want to examine this foul creature myself. warm eyes and a patient smile. The children in town, they say she can cure things. I am not sure whom I believe. Delphi, text to speech. Illegible. So, when are we writing a book on all the craziness? Okay, this looks like a list, but there's stuff crossed out. Circled with weird insignias doodled all over it. It says, Items I currently possess. Salt, rosemary, and my sachets. Round this house I found a moth in its cocoon and the old skull from grandfather's prized ox. Surely these will serve some purpose. Below that there's a bunch of questions. Too unstable? Do I call the quarters before or after I open the circle? And what of a talesman? Would a doll suffice? I'm guessing this person didn't exactly know what they were doing. At the very bottom of the page is some sort of poem. Oh man of God, yet soulless be. <coughs> <coughs> wow. <coughs> Hold on a sec. <coughs> Suddenly I feel like my throat's closing up. <coughs> I gotta grab a drink, I'll catch you later. <laughs> right. Will this be enough? I need help. He is coming again on the morrow. And with other townsfolk. Hold out another few days until the path to the seaside went. They did not have to eat those. As the apple tree is anchored to this earth, so shall I root my soul. Protect this land against those who would do harm. The animals, they've taken ill. 
I can get that lock off now. Can you tell me what the hell I'm looking at here? Just walk straight ahead. Don't hesitate, just go. Excuse me. You deserve to be down there. You belong down there. Durham. Blood of 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 Durham. Wait, you're here? Well, here as in Logan. I'm at the car rental. Traffic's hell because of the storm, so I'd wager an hour to Gloucester, maybe two. Storm? You already sound like a true native. I just didn't expect you to- Of course you didn't. Look, I mean what I say. I don't play games. I said I'd be there, and I will. Two hours tops. Fine. I think I need to follow the owl. Let us, Let us help you. How 
am I supposed to trust you? Because we are your blood. blood. My blood? Wait, I don't understand. Draw it to the fire. fire. As in Cassandra? Oh my god. Daddy! I know you are frightened, my child. But you can trust us. Alicia. Mom. Jump! Jump. Jump. Okay. My dear Cassandra, although your world is darkness, you are never alone. Another hour for me? You had to burn the house down? I needed to do it. Needed? Yep. Well, maybe this was a good thing after all. <laughs> <sighs> so, what the hell happened here? And are you okay? Long story. And I'm okay. Never been better, actually. <laughs> now be a doll and help me up. <laughs> 